Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to perform advanced calculation field in Kubo Toolbox using nested if. So let's get started. So this is what we need to do. We want to classify this category and score to determine the risk analysis. In a situation where we have category A and score 0, we want the risk analysis to be FAR from the field. We also want the category A and score 1 to be LAP. We want category A and score 2 to be LAP. Continue down to category B and score 3 to be UA. So this is what we want to determine from the field. So we don't want to enter it manually. We want to get it from the field. So how can we do that in Kobo Toolbox? So let's go to our Kobo Toolbox. We are going to click on new to create form. So build from scratch. Let me call it um, nested if nested if calculation. So you can jump this description. So I can change this to order. For the country, I will choose Nigeria. Click on this, then create project. So what we need to do first is to enter the first question, which is category. So I'm going to say category, add question, select one, category A. According to what we have in our Excel sheet, category B. So we change the SML, Extensible Markup Language. We change this to one very important we are going to use that in the calculation field and we change this category b to two so we can also change this category to let me name it as q1 okay let me name that q1 which is fine now we are done with the, with the category so the next thing is to enter the question score so I'm going to go back, click on this, enter score, click on add question, score is in number, so I'm going to click on number, then we want the number to be between 0 and 3, you can see 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, so I'm going to go back and use the validation criteria, so I'll click on this setting, click on validation criteria, Click on add question less than or equal to 3. So after that, I will also change the score to, let me change it to Q2. Now we have the category and the score. The next thing we want to get is the risk analysis. So we want a situation where if we have category A and score 0, we want it to be NAR. So, I'm going to go back and click on this button, then I will enter the formula, which is if, open bracket, dollar sign, curly bracket, Q1, which is this question 1. Question 1. If the question 1 equals to category A, which is 1, from the SML value. So, if... So I'm going to close this. If Q1 close bracket equal to 1, category 1, category A, and, and dollar sign curly bracket Q2 close curly bracket equal to 0. If the score equal to 0 from what we have here. If this category is called to category A and the score is equal to 0, we want it to be NAR. So I'm going to say if it's equal to 0, apostrophe NAR. So that is how to script the first question. So the next thing to do is to put a comma. To put a comma space then the next thing is if 
open bracket dollar sign q curly bracket q1 same category if the same category a which is equal to one and dollar sign open curly bracket q2 close curly bracket equal to one which is from here i want it to be lap so i'm going to say comma apostrophe l a p close apostrophe so to do the next one i'm going to follow the same process so i can copy from here from if copy to lap copy then i can paste it here and change this to two according to what we have here if the category a if it is category a and the score is two it should also be lap so i change this to two if the score which is this score is equal to two i want it to be lap so continue the same process for this if the category if it is category a and the score is three it should be ua so we can also copy from this from here copy paste and change this to three then this should be u it should be u a from what we have here it should be u a so to do the next one which is category b score zero to be lap to do that i can also put a comma then copy from here paste and change this to question two since we are moving to category b which is two i will change this to two i will change this to two then change this no i will change this to two this to two then change this to zero and it should be lap so i'm going to change this to I'm going to change this to LAP. So, if the question one, which is equal to two, which is category B, category B, and the score equals zero, we should get LAP from what we have in this Excel. So, to do the next one, I will copy the last formula I will copy the last formula then paste and change this to change this to one so what did I want it to be I want it to be category B score one I want it to be LAP So it is LAP. So to move to the next one, I'm going to put a comma here. Then I'm going to copy from here. Copy, paste, and change this to UA. So if we have category b score two it should be ua so i have here category b which is two and score two and score two i want it to be 
U A. And the last one, you can put a comma here. And the last one is if the score equals three, it should also be U A. Then we can end this by putting a comma apostrophe and say not found if we don't have anything in it the not found is stand for the else statement then we can close it by counting the number of if we have one if here one two three four how many if one two three four four five and six seven eight so i'm going to close it with eight bracket one two three four five six seven eight then i will click on add question and use calculate so the next one is the risk analysis so i'm going to enter risk analysis risk analysis so i'll click on add then change this to notes then change this to let me name it as q3 q3 then i will put colon then dollar sign open curly bracket q3 so i want what we will get here to display in the risk analysis so after that i will click on preview to preview our form now let's test what we just did so i'll click on category then enter zero we have anyhow which is correct if i enter one i will get lap which is also correct if i enter three or two i will get lap so if i enter three i will get ua so let me enter four is going to say value not allowed because we make use of validation criteria which is going to move from zero down to three so let me choose category b and enter zero we have lap it's working perfectly enter one lap enter two ua enter three ua that is how to perform advanced calculation field in Kobo toolbox using nested if please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you